Hey guys and welcome to a new video on this channel. I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So a new update just landed to the problematic plugin and starting from now it is also able to create product attributes for WooCommerce. So if you want to scrape WooCommerce products you will be able to add also attributes to the products that you scrape. So let me show you this update in action and I will be uh, using this WooCommerce uh, this watch and I will create my WooCommerce products from this watch and I have here many many attributes that I can scrape and in this video I will be exemplifying this new feature and how to set it up. So first of all you will need to install the Crawlomatic plugin and also WooCommerce on your site. Afterwards let's go ahead and define our attributes in WooCommerce. So for this go to products, attributes and here we will need to create our attributes for WooCommerce. So I will be creating an attribute for each and every uh, text from here. For this I duplicate this page and uh, translate it to English because I don't understand Russian. So for this let's go ahead and select each and every name for this so clock type should be the first so for this let's create a clock type attribute now let's create a movement type attribute material so as you can see I go ahead and create an attribute for each and every attribute that I want to scrape. So let's go ahead and add glass, design and the attributes start being listed here in our WooCommerce site. Production, warranty, diameter and thickness okay now after we done this we should check the slugs that were created so all these slugs we will need to use these okay but before we can go to crawlomatic plugin settings and uh, copy the url we wish to scrape and paste it here in the scraper seed start url so we will have a direct approach on this just to scrape this single product URL but you can also set up a serial scraping. In this video I will not show you how to use serial scraping because I have other videos showing this. In this video I will only scrape this single product and also show you how to add the attributes to WooCommerce. So now let's click settings and we have to scroll down here to the bottom. So if you want to uh, get custom attributes you will need to inspect the page and check what uh, are the specifics of the text that you wish to scrape. So in this case I checked this already and I know that I don't have really any HTML specific because I have this class of description text but this is present on each and every attribute from here from our source page and I unfortunately cannot use this class because of this. In this case I will go ahead and use a regex to parse this attribute. So for this I have the regexor.com so regexor.com website and here I already wrote a regex that matches the content of each and every of these attributes. So for this to test this I recommend that you hover your mouse here on the HTML selector and search for a element that highlights the entire part that you wish to scrape. So you should copy the element using the right click of your mouse and copy element and add it here in the textual part of the regexer site. So I added here the HTML that I want to scrape. So this is the regex expression that I wrote which will match the first part of the text. So in this case we will have the clock type matching the regex that we wrote here. So for this 
let's go to custom shortcut creator and let's write clock type like this regex because we will use a regex expression the expression separator regex separators and now copy the regex expression that we created and paste it here don't forget that everything that i will be creating in this video and i will be showing you it will be available also in this video description you will find the chrolomatic plugin down there you will also find these setup steps that i create so you will be able to simply copy and paste them to your chrolomatic installation and go ahead scraping this site from scratch okay so as you can see i created the clock type custom shortcode which will be uh, held which will hold the this text so this is the clock type and this will be held by this custom shortcode that i created so now we will be able to use this shortcode and copy its name and let's go to the post custom taxonomies and we will be able to assign the custom taxonomy of the clock type attribute so for this let's write here pa with lowercase letters and an underscore and next to the pa with lowercase this is the prefix of the product attribute so pa is product attribute underscore and paste the clock type which you copied from here so clock type is the slug of the product attribute you wish to use and now write like this and now we should copy the clock type shortcode that we created so the shortcode is surrounded by two percent marks so this is it pa so product attribute slug clock type will have the value the shortcode that we created the clock type shortcode so if we save this we will be able to see this right now in action so save and run importing so now the product will be scraped and if we check our products here oh sorry so i, I forgot to set the post type to product because a post was created for us but we don't want to create posts we should also select generated post type to product so let's recreate this as a product now and uh, if we check the products it's here and let's see also its attributes so let's go ahead and go to attributes and we have here clock type and the clock type is listed here automatically now let's go ahead and do this for all the other attributes that we have listed here so bear with me because i will be trying to do this quick so for this we will have to change the regex also and create a custom shortcode for each and every of these uh, uh these attributes so for this let's go ahead and copy this attribute enter a new line and uh, let's go and uh, create a new attribute design so this will be for design and the name of the design is this so let's replace our clock type from here with the design text and copy the regex that we will getting like this don't forget to replace the regex correctly so you can also increase the size of this for ease so like this so this will be so the design is the second not the first one so let's really revert things here so clock type and design is the second one okay now we will be able to do this for many many more attributes and it will be diameter next so let's go ahead with diameter and the diameter is this 
I hope that I'm correct. Oh no. So I switched things up. So this is movement type. Okay. Movement type. I will be adding this text to the description of the video so when I am ready you will be able to use this. So movement type was this one and now we will be heading over material material so bloopers are here and the material text is this one so let's replace this with this and now go ahead and create more similar stuff so floor is the next one and the floor is this one I hope I don't continue to mess things up okay now waterproof so instead of material we write waterproof and the waterproof is this text so this text needs to be matched here okay now let's reopen the thing i closed by mistake okay so let's go ahead with glass now which is this one so let's right here in glass and copy this text which is the equi equivalent of the glass translation now design now let's copy this text which is the equivalent of the design now let's go ahead and uh, write production instead of this production you can also edit this in a text just to make this simply now warranty so warranty is next and replace the text here and we have two more so we should create two more of this so next is diameter which is this so diameter and the last one is thickness only not with a capital T and the thickness is this one in Russian so like this okay so now we have each and every custom field and the custom shortcode parsed and generated now we can use them in our custom taxonomy so to separate taxonomies write a semicolon and continue to use the same format so pa is the prefix for product attribute and uh, let's write now design because we created the design shortcode from below it's here and we will be able to do so for each and every from here so next is diameter in our list so pa diameter is the diameter shortcode we created this can also be resized to make things easier for us so floor floor and uh, copy this paste it here and multiple times so we will be working a bit more efficiently glass is also replaced here so diameter floor glass now material material movement type pa movement type production now go with thickness and we have 
two more so I have to copy and paste this two more warranty instead of this thickness we enter warranty and the last one is waterproof so enter here waterproof and now we can go ahead and save settings so we should delete the old product that we imported and let's check products now it will be empty now let's scrape the product once again and if we refresh it here it's the product once again scraped and attributes will have each and every design diameter floor glass material movement type production thickness warranty and waterproof and if we check the source site which is uh, here so each and every attribute as is correctly scraped now to our WooCommerce product if we want, wish to scrape also the price we can set the price scraper to select the price from here and we will be good to go so the price can be selected from the um, price product price query type we can also use visual selector for this let's hope it will work from the beginning and here it is the price is selected let's save delete all post old post let's re-import it and if we check products we will also have price but here you need to change your uh, currency because this WooCommerce shop is set to dollars and uh, yeah this is not in dollars okay so this is how you scrape the product attributes using the Crawlomatic plugin keep in mind that you will need to have the latest version of Crawlomatic for this to work because I made an update for it recently so if you scroll down here 240 uh, released in the last day of February 2022 this version and onward will support also product attribute scraping so be sure to have this or newer version if you want to create product attributes for WooCommerce all you have to do is create your custom shortcodes like this and also in the custom post taxonomies create your attributes using the PA prefix and don't forget to add all your attributes here so yeah this is all for this video if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section and subscribe to this channel it is really appreciated until next time have a nice day bye bye